Hi everyone. Today is Christmas Eve 2020 and I am just thinking about this year that we've we've all experienced and everything that I've gone through and I wanted to make this video because I wanted to say a couple things to those of you that watch this channel, those of you that have supported me and encouraged me this far, I wanted to say thank you. You know, earlier this year, I had this wild feeling that it was time to become a parent, time to... I really felt as though I was ready to nurture a being and it's one thing to have dogs and a cat and whatnot but I was feeling the desire to nurture human life and I didn't know exactly how to go about it I didn't know what people were going to think, I was a little fearful. But I dove headfirst in and knew that it was time for me to take charge of my own life and listen to the call that I felt that I was feeling. And if anyone has watched my really early videos, you know that I've started this thinking about private adoption and the idea of fostering just wasn't really something that I was, I don't even want to say interested in. It just wasn't something that I really knew much about. And the more that I continued to go down that path, and navigating that space of fostering and meeting people and opening up to people and talking to people, sharing the journey with people, the more I was encouraged to just dive into it, the more I opened myself up to the idea of taking care of another life no matter what that might mean, what that might do to my schedule, being single, what that might do to finances. Every time I got scared, every time I got anxious, I reached out to the community. I reached out to the people in my life who have supported me thus far. And I've always been met with acceptance. I've always been met with like, affirmation and validation and I just want to say thank you for that so this time of the year is it's a beautiful time of the year my church we had a an online um, service tonight we had a zoom service where I think there was about 52 people or maybe like 40 something people families on the service and we all lit candles and we sang silent night and it was really really beautiful to see these people rejoicing together even though we were at our homes um, because these are people that you spend a whole year with every Sunday and then you love the Christmas season and you go to church on Christmas Eve and spend time with them and at our church every year we have candles and we sing Silent Night. And we knew that this year we weren't gonna be able to do that. So having a moment of um, doing that together even though it was on Zoom just was so moving. And I'm just so grateful to have that. And it makes me think about this year. It makes me think about all the changes I've gone through this year. And I just hope that one day, whether I get to adopt the first child I get to foster or 
the fourth to the sixth child I foster. I don't know how it's gonna work out. I don't have all the answers. I know that I wanna provide a home for children and I look forward to that. I look forward to being that uh, source of nurturing for a child for however long I get to have that child in my life. So that's what I'm feel feeling today on Christmas Eve. I'm feeling feelings of appreciation, affirmation. I can't wait to be blessed with the phone call of Kevin, there's this child that needs you. I can't wait. And I'm just grateful that everyone has supported me through this journey. I'm grateful to, man, if y'all saw the last video with Zell and Karamo and just what they gave me, I'm just, it's, it's, it's one of the most, along this journey, everything has unfolded so perfectly. And I feel like every turn I've turned, every door I've opened, I've been met with affirmation after after affirmation after affirmation that this is the right path for me. And and what Karamo and Zell were able to do for me really was another door that opened and affirmed this this journey of fatherhood and parenthood and fostering. And I would encourage anyone that wants to foster to try it, to do it. To, to go down the path and research it and find out what it's all about. And then to one day, one day the child of mine that gets to watch these videos, the child of mine that gets to grow up one day and see these videos. I just hope that you know how bad you were wanted and are wanted. I hope that this is like a vault, a time vault, a time capsule for you to see that you were longed for, you were desired, you were loved before you were even known by me. I just hope you know that. Everyone who has been a support, thank you cannot wait to share more of this journey with you guys. I hope you all have a great holiday season. No matter what holiday you subscribe to or participate in or take part in with family and friends this holiday season, I wish you the most wonderful holiday season in the rest of 2020. I really pray that in 2021 we see just as much or even more of a drastic awakening to life that we saw throughout 2020, just on the reverse, in the most positive and uplifting light possible. Thanks to everyone for sticking around, for going on this journey with me. I love you all. I'm so excited to share more of this with you. I hope you have a great, great holiday season. Peace out.